If you've ever wanted to bring in live video from out in the field, then you've probably wished for something just like MediaLooks Video Transport. I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast Distribution, and today we're gonna to be talking about ways of bringing video into your live productions via NDI from out in the field using just regular internet connections and the cloud. Let me take you through on a little short tour of how MediaLooks Video Transport works. Video Transport is made up of two components. Video Transport Publisher and Video Transport Receiver. You can run both of these on the same machine and create a bi-directional workflow, or you can just run VT Publisher at your location that's remote and VT Receiver at a location in your studio. So let's take a quick look at VT Publisher. VT Publisher has all of the different inputs that are available on your system. These can be NDI sources, they can be uh, capture cards, USB devices, anything that shows up in the system as being a video device. And then we also have a number of other columns, including bitrate and URL. I'm currently publishing one stream. This is the stream from my USB camera. Uh, it's the output of vMix video I'm running vmix over here and we're taking the external output so whatever the output of vmix um, is here is what's going to appear there and we're publishing it at 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second two channels of audio um, this is telling me what frame rates uh, it's getting how many clients are latched onto this what the bit rate um, i'm asking it to encode at what the bit rate it's actually sending up and then there's a actual url that I could use if I wanted to have somebody check in on this without actually having a copy of um, VT receiver, they can just take this URL and see it play. And then I add it, I clicked start publishing to start it publishing. I could click stop publishing to stop it publishing. So right now, uh, this product is sending, this video channel is being sent up to the cloud um, and we have what's called a publisher ID. And I could just click copy ID and email that to somebody and who has a copy of VT receiver. And I could just paste that here and click connect. And it would give me a list of all of the videos that are currently being published. So if I wanted to um, publish some other feed, like here's my display, if I'm gonna do a low bit rate, so I'm not jamming up my internet. If I click start publishing, you will see that uh, signal pop up here. So this becomes a new source that I have access to. And the way that this is appended is we're over here in VT Publisher, it says Studio A, and it'll say Studio A, and then the name of the source that's being published, it's bitrate, resolution, frames per second, the kilobits per second being received, the latency, um, this is currently running about 180 milliseconds. And let me go back to my video, you can see that's pretty good. You know, that's the, for going out to the cloud and coming back and you should expect sort of similar results um, is a pretty, pretty excellent low latency um, publishing. So I have, uh, I've started to publish this uh, via NDI. So if I go back into vMix and I go to add my input and go under NDI settings and go under my local computer, I should see uh, Studio A here somewhere, Studio A vMix video. So I am now, this video, you can see in program, I have my camera and in preview, I have the return feed from going out to uh, the cloud through the internet off to the um, managing server. And that is how quick the feed from point A to out to the internet and back is. So that's really pretty quick. And there's a lot of new stuff coming from MediaLooks for managing uh, fleets of these NDI channels. So that there, we have some new things called um, server coming that we'll be talking about in a subsequent video on the amazing um, MediaLooks products. 
MediaLux Video Transport is going to be a great addition to many people's toolboxes. The possibilities are boundless. We could use it to connect campuses together. We'd use it to connect satellite production facilities to uh, main production hubs. There are a lot of different possible combinations. And if you have any further questions about the MediaLux Video Transport, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at usbroadcast.co or your local reseller. Thanks for watching.